So what we're going to talk about right now is dealing with something called an absolute reference. And this is useful in your formulas when you need to lock down a cell reference when you're planning on copying that formula down or across your spreadsheet or potentially even to another sheet. So in this example, <clears throat> I like to do a simple formula. And the formula should look like this. It should basically be whatever the week one sales were, in this case for Alex, times the commission percentage that they're, let's say, getting paid to calculate the week one commission amount. So to do this, I'm going to press equals. I'm simply going to use my mouse here. I'm going to click this cell multiplied by this cell. And when we go ahead and hit enter, this is going to work just fine. The problem arises when I need to copy this formula down for my other salespeople. So as I copy it down, you can see I'm getting a bunch of zeros. Well, why is that happening? All you need to do is investigate the formula a little bit. So in this first one, it was B2 times H2, and that was correct. There's B2, there's H2, no problem. If I look at the next one, I'm just going to double click so it highlights. You can see it's moved this down, the cell reference down one, which is good because that's the next person's uh, week one sales but it's also wanted to shift that commission percent. However, that commission percent is always in H2. So I need to be able to lock that cell reference in this formula. And I have a similar situation when I fill it across. You'll notice if I click this formula, you can see it's done C2, which is accurate. I'm gonna double click so it highlights it again. And then it's done times I2, and this is a column I've made really small here, so it's shifting everything across. Again, okay for the sales figures, but not okay for the commission percent. It's always in that cell. Now, last week we talked about names, and you could use names to fix this problem. Or you can use something called an absolute cell reference. That's what we're going to talk about today. So to use an absolute cell reference, what you're going to do is you're going to add in dollar signs around the reference that you want to lock. So if I put a dollar sign in front of the H, that locks the letter H from never changing. If I put a dollar sign in front of the two, that locks the row number of two from ever changing. So by making that simple change, when I hit enter, you'll see when I fill it down, the formula works, no problem. And when I fill it across, the formula is going to work. These number signs are appearing just because of column widths, of course. So as I check these formulas now, I want you to look at the formula bar as I do this. You'll see the references are changing, but the H2 isn't. The H2 is always locked now in that cell. So there's other uses for this, and I also want to show you a little trick. So I'm just going to switch spreadsheets here, and I'm using an example of a VLOOKUP formula. Well, in a VLOOKUP, if I fill this down, all of these cell references that I have here are going to shift down. So my lookup cell is going to shift down, and my table is going to shift down. But in this case, I wouldn't want my table to shift down. It's always in the same spot. So we're going to use an absolute reference to lock this down. Instead of typing in the dollar signs, though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the reference in my formula and then I'm going to press the F4 key on my keyboard and you'll see that it adds the dollar signs in for me. It's a nice little shortcut. If I keep pressing F4, it'll actually roll through the different combinations. So if you press it multiple times, you can do something uh, called creating a mixed cell reference, which we'll talk about actually uh, in the up next video coming up. But for now, pressing F4 will add that in. And then of course, I could fill this formula down. You'll notice again, look at that formula bar my table is always locked to the same cells. So that's how you can work with absolute references.